My sister's name is Lexi, and she was diagnosed with a brain tumor at three and a half months old, and I was two years old at the time. Lexi is so funny. She's very, very sassy. She's also incredibly caring and truly an incredible friend. I am forever amazed by how much she cares about her friends, especially her friends with brain tumors. She could be going through something really difficult medically herself, and if she finds out that something's going on with one of her friends, she's immediately thinking about how she can support them, when she can go visit them in the hospital, how we can bring them food. I definitely think just watching my sister her whole life probably is the thing that's inspired me the most. She's been through so much. She's been through multiple surgeries, multiple rounds of chemotherapy. She's still on an oral chemotherapy regimen now, and yet she's never given up trying to fight for her goals in life and what she wants to do. And that just makes me want to not give up on my goals as well. I learned a lot about the resiliency of children and their families through my time in children's hospitals growing up. These kids were sitting in chairs hooked up to IV of chemotherapy pumping into their bodies and they were still playing card games and laughing and that's not to say they don't get really sick and feel really horrible but it never seems to slow them down or take the smile off their face and that's definitely one of the things that made me want to become the person on the physician side of things who's fighting for these kids, trying to provide them new treatment options or help them through the journey because the way I see it, if they're going through all of this, feeling as sick as they are, going through surgeries and radiation and chemotherapy, and they're not giving up, then I want to be able to be there for them as well and not give up the fight with them. The summer after my junior year, I was lucky enough to be accepted into the summer undergraduate research program at Albert Einstein College of Medicine. And so I spent eight weeks at Einstein that summer doing research in a molecular pharmacology lab. I didn't know much about what to expect from medical school. I knew it was going to be intense and it was going to be hard. And so I wanted to be somewhere where I felt like my fellow classmates had my back and that we were all getting through this really challenging time together and trying to have as much fun as we could while we did it. So I came out of that summer really confident that Einstein was the place I would be happy. I think I consider my calling in life to help the siblings of kids with cancer figure out how to get through their life because I was really lost when I was a younger kid I had a lot of different confusing feelings, emotions, guilt, jealousy at times about attention, fear, all sorts of things, and a lot of loneliness. And it wasn't until I attended my first ever sibling group session at Camp Sunshine that I realized every other kid in that room who was a sibling of a kid with cancer was feeling all the same things I was feeling. And there was nothing wrong with me. It was completely normal. I just didn't know it because I didn't know that many other kids who also had siblings with cancer. As a pediatric oncologist one day, I want to make sure that everyone in the room with me, the patient, the parents, and the siblings, all feel like they're really important and an important part of the journey.